Alrighty then, so both my introduction to this game, well, my split introduction, and Offensive Driving 101 are now complete. So, let's now move on to part two of this game officially, and where a lot of you, even though you'd be expecting me to do Championship Mode first, well, I dare to be different, so... I'm going to head down to crash mode, because this is part of the game, and as for what car I'm going to use, well, that's going to be up to me. Hmm. Well, I need a car that doesn't have much of a control element to it. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to use the pickup truck, and as for the colour, well... I think this is meant to be white, but anyways, let's see what else there is. So I've got dark red, red, yellow... Is that meant to be grey or silver? I think that's silver. Well, that's probably grey. Black, blue, and blue. Mm. Yeah, why not? This will work. So, I'm going to start off the game with the crash zones, essentially. So, these are the three crash zones we start with, as of which we have Downhill Demolition, Coastal Cruise, and Out of Control Tower. And the reason why I chose the pickup truck is because, well, it's not so heavily reliant on control. So, Basically, driving this thing in white and using manual transmission. And yeah, here we go. So, two million dollars for a gold in damage, one million for a silver, and five hundred thousand for a bronze. And if you've seen the first episode of this game, you will, of course, know I've already sent out a warning to never do this in real life. But a lot of you probably know that if you study the highway code. Rush down the hill and cause as much damage as you can. Already mentioned the targets we have to reach. So, let's do it. Let's see how much damage I can cause. Oh, hit that bus. Oh, okay, I hit the truck. Let's see how much damage it can cause. I think if you hit trucks, you can deal quite a bit of damage, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's see what happens here. Hmm. Is this going to be enough? Well, let's wait and see. Or is it just going to be enough for a bronze? Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Never mind, it was good enough for a gold first try. And yes, I am going to get a thumbnail shot of this thing. Because, well, I basically want to get footage of the rack somehow. And basically how I did it. But still, I did nearly three and a half million dollars in damage on my first attempt alone and part of the reason for that is basically is basically because I slammed into a fuel truck and apparently two, ta two taxis just racked all the way in the distance and apparently I also have a new record so going with Jordan obviously I'm nearly 1.5 million dollars ahead of KSM, who ironically also did this in the pickup. That's a real sense of irony right there. Anyways, so there we go. On to the next zone, which I think is zone 2. Cause havoc 
on this coastal crossroads. So this time we need to get $10 million in damage for a gold, $5 million for silver, and $3 million for bronze. Okay, let's go. So, Crash Zone 2, and using manual transmission of course, because well, I feel more comfortable doing this. Now it's time to unleash the beast, and see what can happen. Let's see what happens here. I wonder if this will be enough. Hmm, is it gonna be... 1,500? Hmm, not quite. I do the maths, by the way. I think this is definitely a silver, but I don't think it's a gold. We'll wait and see. But I don't think it's good enough for gold. Oh, never mind. I was completely wrong. It was good enough for gold. By 1.6 million. Well, almost 1.7 million, technically, but... Yeah, well, I just like doing math. Anyways. There we go. Another crash zone is completed. Apparently, 1,461,913 dollars brings me to a total of less than 11.7 million. You know, I feel like I probably should get a replay shot and see what there is, just for the purpose of clickbait. Okay, well, anyways. Let's see what happens. But yeah, I mean... That is, uh... That's a lot of demolition right there. Okay, well, anyways. On to our third and final zone of the first stage in this game, as of which we do have a total of 15 crash zones to get through, and they will all be in their own separate segments. So here's our final crash zone area of the first level. Out of control tower. Get her born and hit as many buses as possible. So we need 35 million for a gold in damage, 20 million for a silver, and 10 million for a bronze. Okay, here we go. So, time for the third and final crash zone of level one. Hmm. I don't know about this. I don't think there's enough here to cause mayhem. Yeah, you know what? I'm restarting. It's missing to me. Whatever the hell it is. Something appears to be missing. For one reason or another. As in, I'm not really seeming to get the results I need to get at the moment. Oh, here comes another bus. Now we stopped. Oh well. Well, I can definitely say I've caused some chaos. And I'm pretty sure it's nowhere near a gold, but can it at least be a pass this time? Please let it be a pass. I only just passed. Okay, I clearly need to be better than this. Wonderful, I'm retrying now. I don't think this is going to be decided 
I don't think me getting the gold in this is going to be decided on... It's going to be decided on skill. It's going to be decided on luck. Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. Jesus Christ. I caused over six million dollars in damage. Holy fuck. That is a lot of damage there. Well, if it wasn't good enough for me to get the gold whilst I was complaining, then it's certainly good enough for me to get the gold now. Jesus Christ. 63 million dollars in damage. That's unbelievable. But anyways... That was quite an ordeal. I honestly did not think it was going to work, but somehow it did. And somehow at the end of the day, I caused... over six million dollars in damage. Or well, to be more specific, I scored... I scored a total of... 63 million... $47,368 in damage. That is unbelievable. But anyways... So glad that's finally over. <sighs> Fucking hell. That took way longer than it needed to. But anyways, there we go. I officially got the gold. And yep, and as a result of us completing the first three crash zones, we've unlocked another three crash zones we can do. But before we get to that, we need to head up to championship mode, because as you can see here, we have a championship event to get through. And that will be coming up next. So with that, stay tuned for more of Burnout 2.